Hello, dear students, how are you? In our previous lessons, we learned past simple positive with you. And today, we will try to learn past simple negative. What is past simple negative? What is its role? If you are ready, sit close to the screen, because we start. Let's look at the table firstly. We have got regular verbs and irregular verbs here. As we remember, in the, when we make past simple positive, verbs have got two forms, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular, forms are, regular verbs are formed by adding ed to the end of the verb, but when we make irregular verbs, the verbs completely change. So, in this yellow box, we have got 10 verbs here that are regular and irregular. We will try to write them in the correct column with you. If you are ready, let's start. Jumped. Where does it go? Regular verb. Why? Because it has got ed. Went. Irregular. Had. Irregular. Played, again with ed, sure, that is played, regular verb. Landed, regular, felt, irregular, took, irregular, wanted, regular, listened, regular, and at, of course, goes to irregular verbs list. These are regular and irregular verbs. Now let's continue. We have got an email here. A girl called Molly has written an email to her friend Dana. Dana. We will try to uh, we will read this email and try to find what Molly did do and what Molly did. First, let, let's read her email. Hi Dana. London is great. Yesterday, Dad and I went to the zoo. Mom didn't go. She went shopping. We saw lots of animals, elephants, hippos, and zebras. But we didn't see the lion. He didn't want to come out of his cave and say hello. After the zoo, we went to a pizza restaurant. But I didn't eat pizza. I ate spaghetti. It was delicious. See you soon. Love, Molly. This is Molly's email. Now let's look at these pictures and cross or tick these pictures because cross means these things Molly didn't do, tick means these things Molly did. In the first picture, number one, we see city zoo and shopping center. Let's remember from the text. So Molly went to the city zoo but she didn't go shopping because her mother went shopping. And in picture two, did she see the lion or hippo? So she saw the lion, uh, she saw the hippo, but she didn't see the lion because the lion didn't come out of his cave. And in picture three, did she eat pizza or spaghetti? So she ate spaghetti, but she didn't eat pizza. Now, so this is Molly's email again, but this time we will underline only positive and negative verbs in her email. But there is one point we have to find only past negative and positive verbs. And positive verbs will be underlined with straight line and negative verbs will be underlined with dots. First, let's find our positive verbs. So, positive verbs are went, again went, so, at, and was. These are our positive verbs in the past. And now, negative verbs. Yes. So, negative verbs are didn't go, didn't want, didn't see, didn't eat. So, all of them have got one common word, 
What is it? Didn't. Yes, all negative words have been used with didn't. Now let's learn how can we change positive sentences into a negative in the past. The, here are the rules. First of all, let's look at this sentence. Which verb has been used here? Is it regular or irregular? Of course, it's regular verbs. So it means we start with regular verbs. Muhlim wanted to see the lion, but lion didn't want to come out of the cave. Now let's look at the rule of it. When we change regular past simple verb into negative, in this case, we erase ed, just put didn't before the verb. So wanted becomes didn't want, or played didn't play. If we talk about irregular verbs, the rules are a little different. Let's have a look. Molly ate spaghetti, but she didn't eat pizza. So these two verbs are different from each other. Why? Because when we change uh, irregular verb into past, the irregular verbs goes back. The irregular verb goes back to its first form. So when we first learned this verb, it was it. And like past, it is at, but in the negative, it becomes again it. Just the same with regular verb, we are writing didn't before the verb. Didn't before the verb here. Like, at didn't eat, so didn't see, gave didn't give, felt didn't feel. So these are the rules of a simple negative. Now let's play a sentence game. In this game we are given sentences, but these sentences are incomplete. It means we have got the first part but we have to continue the second part. How? Let's look at the example. We played tennis, but we didn't play volleyball. The verb play has been used twice in this sentence, in the first part and then in the second part. But in the first part, it's positive. In the second part of the sentence, it's negative. So in the sentences below, we will try to do the same. But please remember, each time we will have to use the same verb only. I'll try to tell you my samples. But if you want to tell your answers, when you watch this video, just stop it before you hear my answers. And tell, of course, your versions. Now, I'm going to tell you my answers. Let's start. I found James but I didn't find Lucy. She watched TV, but she didn't watch news. We went to the library, but we didn't go to the museum. I gave him a present, but I didn't give him a toy car. I had an ice cream, but I didn't have juice. They said hello, but we, we didn't say hi. I read a comic, but I didn't read a newspaper. These are my sample students. That's all for today. Thanks for attention. See you next time.